explaining the useful tools. This is the home screen of the new IWB. When you turn it on, this screen will be displayed. It features an easy to use interface similar to an Android tablet, characteristic of devices that have obtained Google EDLA certification. The intuitive operation allows you to slide up to display all applications, where you can view both downloaded and pre-installed apps in a list. Just like on Android tablets and smartphones, you can move an app to the home screen by pressing and holding it. And you can create folders. The buttons located on the right side of the board, when viewed from the front, are known as the front buttons. From left to right, they are home, return, volume, settings, and power. Press home to return to the home page from any screen. Press return to go back to the previous menu. Use the volume button to adjust the sound. Press settings to enter the settings menu with one touch. Press power to enter sleep mode or press and hold for more than two seconds to enter standby. We introduced two useful bars that provide easy access to frequently used applications. The toolbar can be turned on in settings and appears on both sides of the screen. Tapping here gives you access to shortcut icons such as Favorite Source, Home, Return, App Switcher for managing currently running applications, Annotation Mode, Whiteboard, and a quick access bar that includes Source, Shortcuts, and Apps. The floating bar can also be enabled in Settings. By pressing any part of the screen with two fingers for more than two seconds, the floating bar will appear beneath your fingers. Tapping the center allows you to customize the icons for your favorite functions. You can enter annotation mode by tapping on the toolbar. You can write on the screen, and by tapping the mouse icon, you can navigate and switch pages while annotating. Switching back to the pen allows you to resume annotation. You can tap pen to change the color and thickness. Use the highlighter for transparent highlighting, clear to erase everything, share to share the image, and insert to add the annotation page directly to the whiteboard. You can access Wi-Fi, volume, brightness settings, and frequently use functions from two places. First, slide down to expand the control center, where you can turn Wi-Fi on and off, access screen recording, and take screenshots. Alternatively, long press the settings icon to open the quick setting menu, which allows you to quickly access frequently used functions, including Wi-Fi, volume, brightness, and screenshots. For screenshots, you can select the position and range, freely dragging the screenshot box to adjust the area. Choose full screen to capture the entire display. Click save to store the screenshot on the device, or click insert to take a picture of the screen capture and insert it into the whiteboard. You can also access the screenshot feature from the quick setting menu. Similar to an Android smartphone or tablet, the Google app widget on the home page allows you to search for information quickly and easily. Since this IWB is Google EDLA certified, the Google Play Store is pre-installed. You can search for and install apps from the Google Play Store safely, thanks to Google Play Protect. Installed apps are displayed like this and can be opened freely. Regarding multiple user accounts, you can switch to a registered user by selecting the user and adding a new user from both the control center and settings. To demonstrate switching or registering a user, when you switch, the additional registered user accounts will be displayed. You can register up to 25 accounts. By logging in with Gmail, you can access the Google Play Store and Google Drive from your personal account. Additionally, apps, file data, passwords, and home pages are independent for each personal account allowing for separate management from the owner.